it never gets old. Hey there Disney Lung fam, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for not being able to get this out yesterday, but I just have so much to film for this haul. I wasn't sure if I should like divide it out because I have park stuff, I've got licensed stuff from like Hot Topic and Box Lunch, I have character warehouse stuff, I've got some free swag from a Disney event I went to, like just honestly so much stuff from the last time I had a haul video but you know what I decided I am going to just save all of the Japan stuff just because I'll do that in August it is going to be my birthday so I figured it just makes sense to kind of save all of that for then because obviously I love Japan and a lot of it is just kind of like gifts for myself. So everything in today's haul is going to be stuff that I acquired in the US other than like one item that was from Shanghai. So I will try to put like links if available for where you can get any of this stuff in case you are interested or I'll at least let you know where it came from. So okay. I don't really have stuff like organized. It's literally all just kind of <laughs> thrown down in front of me. Um, we also have a cat here, so hi. What you doing? Um, yeah, I probably should have had a little like semblance of organization for this, but instead I'm just gonna kind of randomly pull stuff as I can, although I'll try to keep like similar types of items together just so it at least kind of looks like I'm organized in all of this. So the first things I'll start with are some of the smaller items that are sitting here, and that is two different magic bands that we have picked up. So Johnny and I aren't like that big into collecting magic bands. We pretty much just have the ones that came for free when we got our passes, because we don't really coordinate them when we wear our outfits or things like that. Honestly, if I'm taking Instagrams around the park, I take off my magic band because I don't typically want it in the photo but there were two Toy Story magic bands that were released over the past couple of months that we decided we should probably buy. So the first one is now Johnny's main magic band which is this Toy Story alien one. It is super adorable. It is him on the swirling saucer. So this is basically what it looks like. It does say Toy Story Land up there and then on this other side it just says the claw. So of course we picked this one up. And then the second one is the limited edition Forky one. I was so excited that they came out with this. I will say I am a little disappointed that it doesn't have any sort of special effects. I was really hoping it would, like it would be really cute if this lit up differently or if it said like I'm not a toy, like just something when you scanned it, but I have been told that is not the case. I haven't personally used this one yet, it's just kind of been sitting on display but this is what the box looks like and I just think they did an awesome job on the packaging for this and here is what it looks like on the inside again I love the packaging it is limited edition of 3500 so the actual band on this side is pretty plain it just has some cutlery silhouette it says Toy Story 4 and then on this side, we've got Forky. So yeah, saw that this came out and had to buy it to go with my little Forky collection. I of course have a few other Forky items in here that I will be showing you guys, but uh, yeah, definitely excited to have this and I'm gonna have to activate it pretty soon so that I can actually go and use it. So I guess let's just stay on the whole Forky train of thought because the next item that I have is this Funko Pop. So this is our third ever Funko Pop for Disney. Like I've said before, we are not really that big into Funko collecting and it's honestly something we don't want to get into because it's just another kind of endless rabbit hole of money and yeah. But we did pick up the Wheezy and the Alien one of course, so after Johnny got those I decided 
why am I not buying the forky one at least to go with it? So I finally caved when he was on sale and I decided to pick, ooh, sorry, that is shining a lot of light, but I decided to pick him up and this is what he looks like. I have not taken him out of the box yet. You guys know I'm an out of box kind of girl, so eventually I will. I just left him in here until at least this haul was over because honestly, I just have this corner of my office over here that I put everything in as soon as I get it until I do have kind of a pile going and then I make a whole video. So uh, he's just been kind of sitting there waiting for me to make this video, but I have no idea where we're gonna put this. I do think I'm gonna put some stuff in the alien cubes, but uh, I feel like Johnny wants that to be strictly aliens, but we're kind of out of space in all of our cubes. So uh, maybe on top or something? I don't know. We'll have to figure out where my little forky section can go. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is my last Forky item, although it is not my last Toy Story item, of course. We've got a bunch of alien stuff to go over, but I do have this plush. I picked this up when Jessica was visiting. We actually went to a few different places in Springs to look for these, and a lot of them were gone and sold out. And then really shortly after that, they had the whole recall. So I'm really glad that I was able to pick him up before he got recalled, because he is so cute. He's got these giant googly eyes and his movable little arms here. The whole reason that he got recalled is because apparently the arms can come off pretty easily and so can his eyes and it's a choking hazard, but I am not taking him back. I don't really care. I can choke if I want to because I'm a responsible adult and that's my decision. But uh, yeah, he's just been sitting on our shelf. So I mean, I doubt he's gonna get a whole lot of wear and tear to where he's gonna break or have his eyes fall off. Although I will say our cats have definitely thugged him off the shelf a couple of times. They don't really seem to enjoy Forky very much yet. So I mean, maybe it'll happen, but hopefully not. So he's just gonna hang out with us until then. <laughs> Let's go ahead and skip some of the other Toy Story stuff for now. And I'm going to grab it's kind of the only plush in this haul. Technically, there's two plushes. The other one I'm gonna show at the very end because it was part of all of the free swag that I got from the Disney event. But this is the only plush that I have purchased. I don't purchase a whole lot of plush. I feel like they just start to take up a lot of space. They get dusty. Like, usually they just kind of sit there. So unless they're, like, really special, we typically pass on them, but I saw this and I just loved it and had to have it. This is also our only international item. So this is the item I was talking about from Shanghai. So this is part of the monthly Donald release. It is the June edition, which is why it is him and he's got a little present because it was his 80th birthday. Obviously, I love everything that's like pink and glittery, but I also just love like shiny metallic. So when I saw this, and especially the tones that they used, because it's kind of muted, like, how could I not buy this? He's got his little feet here, and it does have the patch on the bottom that says Donald Duck Memories, that this is 6 of 12. And I will say, compared to how they did the Mickey Memories last year, I so appreciate that they made the legs really movable because now he can sit really nicely on my shelf. I will say that is like my biggest complaint with the Mickeys and why I'm actually going to probably be getting rid of some of my Mickeys is that they just do not sit nicely at all so I don't even know what to do with them. They end up just falling over and laying around like it would be really fun if you would like a kid and like something for them to actually play with but as a like display plush they just aren't really working out for me so yeah I am really glad that they kind of fixed that issue with Donald but I just love him so much. I love all of the little details like his bow tie, his metallic buttons, the ribbon that they used. I just think it looks so good. I honestly don't even really care for the present portion that much. Like they probably could have left that off or maybe like just cut it off. But 
yeah, I am so happy that I decided to get him because I just think he is so adorable. So going along with Donald's 80th birthday, some of the stuff that I have in this pile was from Shop Disney. So I was able to pick up the Donald key. This is my first ever Disney key. I've never been able to go early enough to stand in line and get to open the store for that key. So this is the first one that we have. And now that I have this in person, I kind of want more keys. So I do have the Toy Story key on its way as well. Jessica was so nice to be able to go and pick that up for me because I was at an event with Disney so I couldn't go to our store and I didn't have my phone on me so that I could even order it online because it was a private event and I couldn't have any sort of recording devices on me including our phones. So uh, yeah, I soon will have the Toy Story key as well and I am so excited to have that especially just because you guys obviously know we love Toy Story way more than we love Donald. I mean, I do love Donald, hence the Donald plush. He is one of my favorite Fab Five members, but uh, yeah, really excited to uh, see what that Toy Story one looks like soon. So next we'll move on to headwear because I've got three different pairs of ears for you today. The first one are last year's Pride ears. These finally went on clearance at Character Warehouse not that long ago. So I picked these up for I think $7.99. I will say the quality on these ears is kind of hit or miss. I definitely had to like dig through a lot of them to find one that looked okay because a lot of even this one you can see how the edge just like doesn't look that great but at least from the front this pair overall looks pretty good so I'm glad that I was able to get this. The next pair is the newest pair to hit the parks and that is this mermaid style one. When these were released and there was a photo of them on Instagram, people were going crazy for these. I think they are beautiful. I love the color scheme. I love the little mermaid. Love that they're doing the whole 30th anniversary stuff. So I had to rush over and <laughs> grab myself a pair of these before they sold out. The detail on the shell part with this kind of gold piping is so pretty. And I especially love this kind of chunky sequin bow. It definitely kind of looks like mermaid scale, so I see where they are coming from, and I love this so much. This side has a little aerial silhouette, and then on this side it says mermaid hair don't care. So definitely excited. You can see tags are still on. I haven't even worn these yet, but Definitely going to head to the park soon so that I can get some fun pictures with these. So our last pair of ears are the first ever pair of designer ears that Disney did and this is the Harvey's release. So Disney is releasing a different pair of designer ears every month. They range from $50 to $600. This pair I think was like $78 before discount or something like that. So like I said, this one is Harvey's. It was part of their Americana line. So the bow is made out of their iconic seatbelt material, but I just thought these would be really cute for the 4th of July. And because I had gotten one of their bags and yeah, it just paired really nicely together. So this one, because of how thick these are, these are actually really comfortable, really lightweight. So they aren't as heavy as you would think but they are too thick to hang up on my ear wall. The hooks that I use just are not big enough to support this. So I generally keep it in the box, which it came with the most gorgeous display box. So here is what that looks like. It's so funny because the workers all wear white gloves whenever they are handling these, not because of the ears. Anyone can touch the ears, but they don't let people touch these boxes because they scuff and get fingerprints so easily and they don't come off because they have this really nice kind of satin finish. So you can see my box definitely has a couple of little spots on it already, which is sad, but I just love this packaging. It's got a whole magnetic closure here, and when you open it, you can actually use this as a display box like that so that you can see the ears, and it does come with like a little dust bag. Like for being a designer series, 
Disney really did not spare any expense with these. It feels very luxe and luxury when you get them. It's just like getting a designer handbag with the dust bag and like the inside is velvet. It is definitely really beautiful and awesome. I'm not sure how many of the other designer ears I will get. The Alex and Ani have since released, which I just wasn't a huge fan of, honestly. Um, they are a lot lighter in person, but probably not something I would ever wear, so that would definitely be just buying a pair of ears to put on a wall and at almost $200. I feel like it's just not justified, but I feel like they probably will have a couple of ears in the future that I plan on picking up, such as the Loungefly, which is actually using a print from the whole Kingdom of Cute collection, so I think I'm gonna pick those up for sure, and they shouldn't be that expensive. But uh, yeah, we'll see what else Disney comes out with in the next year. I am really excited to see. All right, since that was from Harvey's, I feel like that's kind of a good segue into doing the bags that I have purchased next, just because we do have one Harvey's bag in the mix, and that is this alien bag. I have featured this a few times now on Instagram because I love this bag. When I first bought it, I honestly was not sure how much use it would get, but it's kind of become our go-to parks bag because it can actually hold quite a lot and I just think it is adorable with the alien theming. So we've got his eyes up there and then his body is all made of seat belts. We've got the Pizza Planet patch and then it does come with this little keychain set. So it's got the Toy Story logo here and then the little rocket ship that says Harvey's on it. And then when you open it, it does have his band of purple, but it's just a really nice bag. The inside has the cloud pattern, which I absolutely love. And uh, yeah, I would say Harvey's bags are a little bit expensive, but definitely worth it, especially because I feel like we've been using this a lot lately. So this next bag is also an alien themed purse. I saw that Loungefly had come out with like this mini alien bag, except I don't really read sizes online. When I imagine like a mini bag, I kind of think like Loungefly mini backpack, like maybe it's gonna be like this or like, I don't know. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be as small as it is. Like it's kind of comical because I don't think anything could fit in this bag that an adult would carry. Like, it's kind of a bag maybe for a toddler. And I debated whether or not I would keep it, but it's kind of cute just as like a display piece back on our shelf and it wasn't expensive, but uh, this is the mini bag. It's, it's a little bigger than my hand. <laughs> like, my phone would not even fit in this. It does have a strap inside, so you could wear it as a crossbody, but like, I don't know what you would put in this. <laughs> Please enlighten me and tell me what you would put in this. Like, it'll fit my card holder and my car keys. That's about it. So uh, you can see I haven't even taken all of the packaging off of it yet just because we weren't sure if we would keep it, but I do think it is so ridiculous <laughs> looking that it's kind of cute. So like I said, I think we're just going to keep it as like a little display piece because why not, right? <laughs> So next we have one of my new favorite purses. I get so many compliments on this. It's also not like the largest bag in the world. Again, it can hold like my cell phone, my keys, my card holder, and that's about it. But it is so pretty that I don't even mind. It is this Castle Danielle Nicole bag. These were released earlier this year. They have both a Disneyland version and a WDW version. So this one is actually the Disneyland castle, hence why it is pink. It is Sleeping Beauty's castle. I've thought about getting the Walt Disney World version, but honestly, like, I just think this one is so much prettier. Maybe eventually I will get it, but I love this bag. 
I've shown this on Instagram and whenever I wear this in the parks people ask about it and I can basically only refer them to go get the Walt Disney World one just because it is inside Magic Kingdom still but I love this crossbody it has a really nice long strap the only downside like I said is yeah it is very very thin so you can't really put much in it but uh dang she just looks pretty <laughs> So because we're on the topic of basically not practical purses that I buy, I guess we'll also move on to this, which is my very first ever full Dooney purse. I have never wanted to pick out a purse until I saw this one. And let me tell you that purchasing a Dooney has been one of the most stressful things ever because I feel like unless a pattern really speaks to you like there's no point in getting it and then in the case of this one I was so excited that they released a whole cat line like this and that the background was pink like I loved that so much so love the pattern but then I really just didn't like any of the shapes that this particular pattern was released in they had two different kind of satchel type bags and I don't really use like a whole lot of bags that you carry on your arm. I definitely do more of an over the shoulder like tote or crossbody type bag and the tote just had a really kind of strange length on me. The straps were really long and I wasn't thrilled with like how it kind of sat because it would just slide off of my shoulders basically. So I really struggled to decide which one to even go with. And then the crossbody here, I feel like this is going to hold, again, absolutely nothing. Um, but I really just wanted to pick it up anyways. And then on top of finding like the shape, like once you find the pattern you like and a shape that you like, you then have to find a good character placement. So I feel like the odds of finding a Dooney to like fit a person are just so hard. Like I could never order one online because it is just, I don't know, I feel like it's way too much to gamble on, especially for the price. So we went when these were released, we sorted through so many of them to try to find a good character placement. For me, I really wanted one that had both Mochi and Berlioz on the front just because those are the two cats that I collect. They are the two cats that look like our cats and so that was what was most important to me. I also wanted as little of jungle cats represented on mine as well so I mean <sighs> yeah, it was like a really stressful thing to buy this, but I am so excited that I was able to finally find one. So this is the one that I ended up picking up. We've got Mochi right here next to the Dooney sign, so I love that he's kind of front and center. And then right below him, we've got Berlioz peeking out. Otherwise, I feel like this is pretty cute. We've got Toulouse, we've got Figaro, another couple of my favorite kitties. And then on the inside, we've got everyone pretty much represented. Because I feel like opening and sorting through all of the different bags, like some didn't even have like Marie or other cats on it anywhere just because of how they cut the fabric. So uh, yeah, it's kind of hard with Dooney bags. So I totally understand why not everyone loves Dooney. Like I said, this was my first ever full Dooney purse. I have like a little coin purse from them that I got in Hong Kong. But other than that, this is it. So we'll see if I become a fan or not. But I am excited to wear this and I do love the cat design. My only other complaint about this bag is that they chose such a dark leather trim. I really would have preferred a lighter color, especially with the pink instead of black. That's kind of why I didn't like either of the satchels, just because it had so much thick banding on it with the leather. It just made it look really like heavy and I don't know, like I really struggled to love this design. I have such a love-hate relationship with this bag, but I'm trying to give it a fair chance. I'm at least really happy that I have one and that it features Mochi and Berlioz right on the front, but uh, 
yeah, let me know your thoughts down below on if you're a Dooney collector or not, and what bags you have, why you love them, and uh, yeah, not that I really need convincing, but yeah, I definitely struggled with this, but hopefully I'll have kind of a better review of it soon once I start actually using it. One more purse before we get into backpacks. Uh, so this last purse is kind of a recent release. It is from Hot Topic. I saw it and I just personally got so excited because I love the Luxo Ball and there is not a whole lot of Luxo Ball merch. And it is this Luxo Ball crossbody bag. I thought that this would be so adorable for some Instagram photos. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to plan a whole little Luxo Ball bound around this. I'm thinking I'm gonna make some Luxo Ball ears pretty soon so that I can wear the ears and then this and then some sort of cute little dress or something. Like, I don't know, but I am really excited about this bag. And Hot Topic had a really awesome sale going on. I guess they did this for Aladdin as well. Once the movie came out, they put like all of the merchandise on super clearance and they did that for Toy Story. And supposedly they're doing that for Lion King now. So if you're a Lion King fan, like definitely go check out Hot Topic and grab some stuff on sale because who doesn't love a good sale? <laughs> Okay, time for backpacks. Um, yeah, we still got a we still got a handful of stuff over here. So uh, if you need to take a break, go uh, get yourself some tea or some cookies or some sort of snack or something. Cause uh, yeah, we we still got stuff to go through. <laughs> so next we have our first backpack, and this is like a legit like backpack which I don't know that I really realized again when I ordered because I just don't really read dimensions and stuff but it is from Hot Topic and it is this cute little alien bag. I figure since it is like a full size backpack that this would actually be really nice as a park bag as well on days when we have a lot of stuff that we need to carry such as like camera stuff like multiple outfits you know like those days where you just go and take a bunch of Instagram photos or make content for you guys. So I think this will come in handy with that. So I'm not like upset about it being a full backpack. I just, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Again, I think because it is a lounge fly bag, as you can see down here, I was expecting it to be kind of like a mini backpack. Like if this were a mini backpack, like they did for like the Buzz, Woody and Bo bags, I would honestly be so in love. I kind of love all of those Toy Story mini backpacks. They also have like a Rex and they just came out with a Slinky Dog one that is so cute. And I would love if they made like an alien or some other characters because I feel like it would look adorable to just collect all of those. Like they would look really nice like sitting all next to each other on a shelf. So uh, Loungefly, if you could like remake this in a smaller mini backpack size, uh, that would be great. Thank you because I would go and buy it for sure. <laughs> okay, now for actual mini backpacks. So this first one I am so excited about because I didn't even know that it existed. Like it seems like I shop a lot at Disney, but I really don't like go sit on like Box Lunch or Hot Topic or those sort of sites to see what's like new and exciting very often. So somehow I totally missed that this was released earlier this year and it wasn't until we were wandering around at Springs a couple of weeks ago that I just saw someone who had this bag and I like instantly pulled out my phone and started like googling to figure out what exactly this bag was just by describing it and it is this Disney Days Loungefly mini backpack. Like if you had to make me into a bag I think this would be pretty dang close because it has everything that I love in a bag. It has all of these different shades of pink with this cute gold accent little castle. It makes it have this really nice kind of tuffeted look that I absolutely love. The big emblem here, of course, is the castle, which I love having that represented. And then down here, the little zipper pull is the Disneyland D, which I just love this added little detail. I just think this looks so elegant with the baby pink and the gold. 
The straps are also this like slightly darker but still just as cute pink and uh yeah was definitely excited that I could track one of these down. Again this was from Hot Topic so uh yeah I guess I apparently need to just check their website more often for adorable Disney releases. <sighs> So up next we have another amazing Loungefly mini backpack and it is the Millennial Pink Sequin bag. I just love these bags so much. I had never had one before and then I saw that they were released at Character Warehouse and I basically had to go like a billion times until I could actually find this in stock because obviously stuff at Character Warehouse just flies off the shelves. It's kind of crazy but I, oh my gosh, I was so happy that I was able to grab one of these. They do put a limit now on lounge fly items. You can basically only buy one and I think that applies to just like flat out one. Like not like a backpack plus a wallet plus like whatever like one single lounge fly item. So hopefully that'll help a little bit because uh I never go when it opens first thing in the morning. That is too intense for me. So I can basically never get stuff like this, but I am so happy that I was able to get this pink one. Now I just need to hope that eventually they will get rose gold. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's still very popular, so I don't know that that'll be in Character Warehouse anytime soon, but you never know because this one has just recently popped up also at Character Warehouse. So I don't have the purple potion ears. I think they are gorgeous. I especially love the kind of iridescent purple bow that comes on them. And I just wanted to get something different. I know almost everything I own is pink, so I like try to branch out a little bit on different colors, especially if it is kind of pastel, which this isn't really pastel at all, but like it's still adorable. So I really wanted to get this. This one has these two little mouse ears up here, so the design is a little bit different. And I mean, look at that purple metallic. This is so pretty. Really excited to have a couple of new Loungefly mini backpacks in my collection. So let's go on to some wearable items. This I got to go with a jumpsuit that I have. I've recently posted it on my Instagram in case you didn't see it. But I have the Star Wars jumpsuit and it's just a spaghetti strap one. So I don't really like to just wear that as is in the park because I burn so easily even putting sunscreen on so I try to always put like something to cover my shoulders and I saw that they had these at Character Warehouse so I had to go and grab one but it is this like sparkly tracksuit kind of jacket and it just has the rebel symbol on the back so I love this it is super comfortable and it's pretty lightweight so it'll be good since it is so hot out and yeah I'm basically just planning on wearing this for Galaxy's Edge with my jumpsuit and yeah I am really excited because again who doesn't love sequins? Well, I mean, okay, a lot of people I get don't like sequins, but I mean, I love sequins, so uh, definitely had to get this very glam Star Wars jacket. Uh, yeah, it might not be for everyone. It's it's a look, but uh, I'm here for it, and I am so excited to go and wear this in the parks. If you guys are in my Facebook group, you already know about these because I tried to go and do some pickups for people, but they did release all of the flower and garden merchandise, so I picked up these two spirit jerseys. The first one is this pink one, but it's got flowers all along the front there. And then on the back, it has Minnie Mouse with her little watering can. I just think this is so cute. And I love the different shades of pink, of course. It is very my aesthetic. All throughout Flower and Garden this year, I really, really wanted to buy this. But of course, I figured I didn't see a whole lot of them selling. All of the shops around Epcot still had a ton once we were like getting towards the end of the festival. So I waited because I had hoped they would go to Character Warehouse. I know even at the end of the festival, I think they did like 50% off or so in the parks. 
and I'm glad I waited because then it was another 50% off of that once it went to Character Warehouse. So uh, yeah, I'm just really glad that I was able to get this one. And then they also had the second one as well, which at the time I wasn't planning on buying it, but then, you know, I saw it in person and decided for the price, why not just get both? But this is the Violet Lemonade version. So we've got the little flower and garden logo there. The rest of it is just this plain kind of violet color. And then on the back, we have their little slogan from this year, which is the put a little zest in your fest and it's got all of the different violets and lemons on the back, which uh, definitely a fan of Violet Lemonade. Now that I finally had it, definitely a convert. It is so good and I cannot wait to get it again next year. So these next few shirts I'll do fairly quickly just cause they're not like the most interesting. But this first one I just wanted to show, it is from Target. This is a Toy Story 4 shirt that is very pastel and adorable. It is from the kids section, but I mean, hey, it's a way to get cute Disney clothes for cheap. This one was only $9.99, so I mean, not bad at all. Just get like a kid's extra large and you are totally fine. But again, I love the kind of muted pastel look of this. Of course, like the pink, the yellow, again, very my aesthetic and I cannot wait to wear this one. This next piece is also from Hot Topic. I picked this one up when I got the Luxo ball purse just because of the clearance offer that they had going on. And that is this Toy Story logo dress. It is like a full t-shirt dress, except that it has pockets, which is absolutely amazing because I love any sort of dress that has pockets. I would probably wear this to the park just because it is really cool and comfortable, but honestly, for now, I have just been wearing it as kind of like a nightgown or like a lounging type of a dress, and I love it so much. It is so comfortable and nice to wear. Definitely glad that I picked it up. It is it is very, very Toy Story and like a little like obnoxiously Toy Story. So I probably wouldn't wear this on the daily, but you know, to go to the parks or like Toy Story Land or something. Again, some cute like Instagram photos, something like that. I thought that this would be really fun to have. Okay, so these next couple of shirts are actually from Uniqlo. At the beginning of June, they released this whole Pixar series that I fell in love with. It was called Summer Vacation. And if you went and you bought three shirts, you also got a little token to use in their Gachapon machines that they had. And they had these really cute little Toy Story figures. And of course, one of them was the alien. So that was what we really wanted to try and go for. So we did get a handful of shirts and yeah, I've got four out of the six that we bought here just because two of them are actually in the wash because I, you know, we've been wearing them. But uh, let me show you the ones that I have over here. I did try to keep a couple in the pile for you guys. So some have their tags and some don't and some are missing, but uh, yeah, I'll at least give you kind of a general idea of what the collection looks like. Because I'm pretty sure these are still at Uniqlo. I just don't think that they have like the little Toy Story figures anymore that go with them. Our favorite shirt of this entire collection, of course, only came in kid sizes, but doesn't matter. Again, I just showed you the kids shirt from Target. We wear kids clothes all of the time. I guess that's one benefit of being like short and petite, but uh, you know, it is this kind of alien popsicle design, like, how cute is this? It has all of these little aliens with different expressions on them. So yeah, I love this shirt. I just thought it was too cute to pass up. Of course, it's got aliens on it, so we had to get it. The next shirt that we got, which sorry, like I said, these have been sitting on my floor for the past like month or so and our cats come in the office so this one is kind of covered in cat hair i apologize but it is kind of this like pretty basic white t-shirt it does have the lamp and luxo ball there 
But then on the back, it has this whole little Pixar logo with all of our beloved characters. So yeah, this one I believe is actually from the men's collection. And then these last two, yeah, they also have these really cute little tags on them here with the little Pixar vacation. These last two are from the ladies collection. So this one is Forky and he is just kind of sticking out of the pocket there with a little spoon and a fork. I thought that that was so cute. And then it has this little pocket which has little Woody and Luxo Ball designs on it. So this last one also has some aliens on it. It is mainly a plain white t-shirt, but then we've got ham and two aliens and they are surrounded by this donut. And if you look real carefully, that donut is basically supposed to be Lotso, which is adorable. So like I said, with buying those, you did get a little capsule to get a toy. So this is what it looks like when it came out. There was a Buzz, a Woody, a Bo Peep, and then an alien. Uh, it usually came out and the ball was like their head and then you could open this and inside the rest of their body would be there and you could assemble it. Since the alien is so tiny, they did a Luxo ball with him, which makes me love it even more. So we did get two aliens when we did our little capsule machine. So we've got this one and this is our extra one just so you could see what it looked like when it was packaged. And then when you opened it up, there was this little alien inside and I love the style of these. They look like traditional Kokeshi dolls, those wooden dolls that they have in Japan. So uh, yeah, I just thought that this was so cute that we had to go and get them and I'm just really glad that we got two different aliens. So that is basically it for all the clothing. I do have one more item which probably sounds absolutely insane because it is a baby item. Um, no, Johnny and I do not have kids. We're not expecting nothing like that. But uh, I saw this being sold on Shop Disney and also in person when we went to the Disney store. <laughs> And I definitely resisted hard for a while and was like, no, like, it's okay. And then eventually I gave up and just purchased it so that we could just put it away for eventually. <laughs> but it is this little alien outfit. It is so tiny, but it is a little onesie. It comes with this little alien hat. I mean, how could we not buy this? So, uh... Yeah, we got uh, this. No use for it now or anytime soon, really, but uh, we'll put this away for someday just because it is just so adorable. So cute. All right, guys, we are getting there. We are almost done. I promise just a couple of last little smaller items. So if you have made it this far, congratulations. So a couple more things and then I'll quickly, really quickly just go through kind of the free stuff that I got last week at the Disney event. So, all right. I also have this board game. It is called Color Brain. It is a super cool game. I was sent this for free, like, you know, totally transparent about that. But in case you guys don't know, outside of like Disney, stuff like that, one of our biggest hobbies is playing games. So we were really thrilled that we get to try this out. We are going to play it one of these days so we can let you know our thoughts, but it seems really cool. Basically, it'll ask you different questions and it tests your memory to see how well you think you know different colors of things in the Disney universe. So for example, it might be like Tigger and then you would have to put down that Tigger is made of orange and black or so and so. But uh, yeah, seems like there are some pretty tricky ones in here to test your Disney knowledge. So uh, we're definitely excited to check this out very soon. Debated whether or not I should include this, but uh, we spent a long time <laughs> tracking this down. But, you know, we saw that Toy Story toys were released at McDonald's. There was this cute little alien one. Yeah, we went around, I think, to four, maybe even five McDonald's in our areas before we finally even found this guy. Everyone that we, like, drove and went to, like, they did not have the alien. So it was kind of hard 
thing to track down here and I had not eaten McDonald's in eight years so uh yeah finally kind of broke that just so that we could get this stupid little alien toy but I mean it is really adorable it looks like a carnival kind of whack-a-mole so when you press down the different aliens different ones pop up so yeah I mean that is definitely adorable and now it's gonna sit behind me in our alien collection <laughs> These next three things I will talk about together. They are like the only villain items that I pretty much own and that's these ColourPop lipsticks. I got ColourPop when they did the whole like designer Disney princess line and I love the formula of their lipsticks so when I saw that they had these I wanted to try some more out and again, I absolutely love them. The Maleficent one especially has basically become my go-to for like everyday lipstick. I'm not wearing any of these right now. I probably should have been so I could kind of show you, but I picked up Dr. Facilier, Hades, and Maleficent, and all of them look really great on my skin tone. And honestly, the types of colors and shades that these are, I think would suit pretty much any skin tone, which is really impressive. These are the three, I think there are six total in the collection. There are three mattes and then three creams. I don't do very well with like matte formula just because my skin gets kind of dry. So these are all of the different cream ones and I think that these look really cool. They're very like heavy for a lipstick container but I love that they have all of the different like villain elements on them. And to give you an idea of shades, this is what they look like. Like I said, Maleficent is definitely my favorite. It has been getting the most use and I wear it in a lot of my videos. And I mean, look at how cool that is. It says villains on it. Definite hit by ColourPop. I just always love trying their different products and their lip products especially have always been my favorite. Check them out if you haven't already. Okay, one final item before I quickly go over the like free swag that I got last week from Disney and that is that I finally caved and bought my first ever Alex and Ani bracelet. I saw these over at Ever After Jewelry Co. the other day and I don't know, I've never looked like that closely at Alex and Ani because it's generally not my favorite thing, but this one actually caught my eye when I was leaving the store. We made it back to the parking garage and then I turned around and went back because I decided that we needed them because they had this super cute small world one. So this one is in silver, which I definitely prefer silver over gold when it comes to jewelry. And I just love that it is white and then the accent color for it is actually this really nice light pink. So totally my aesthetic and you know that I love Small World and all that it stands for and it's definitely like a meaningful ride. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have this as my first Alex and Ani piece and I will be wearing this probably a lot from now on. Okay, so this last little bit I'm just gonna go over super fast because I personally don't find it all that interesting but a lot of you always ask about it and that is going to Disney events and especially like Disney PR events, stuff like that. So last week I was lucky enough to get invited to go to a social media conference that Disney was holding. It was super fun. Like I said, we learned all about how Disney does their social media, how we can better do our social media. They fed us, they did all this other really cool stuff, and of course they, at the end of the day, shower you with all this awesome like swag and stuff so I'll just kind of quickly show you the kind of stuff that they gave us because yeah apparently it's interesting to you guys to see what Disney gives you guys at events. So there was a definite theme to this one which was celebrating Mickey Mouse so you'll see that a lot of it is Mickey Mouse and the whole anniversary themed so the first thing we got are these really fun Mickey Mouse notebooks. These were perfect because obviously we took a lot of notes during the conference so that's what mine is full of right now so 
definitely love practical items that you can use right away. They also gave us a kind of matching pen that is floating somewhere around my office, so I won't be showing that, but that is somewhere. We got our little celebration outfit Minnie Mouse. I'm not sure if everyone got Minnie or if there were also Mickeys in the mix. These were all like kind of hidden inside a backpack thing that I'll show you in a second, but uh, I think she is just so cute in her little celebration outfit. Uh, yeah, this will this will look really cute on our shelf. <laughs> we also got the birthday celebration Mickey ear hats. As most of you know, my birthday is coming up in a few weeks. We've got friends flying in so that we can go to the park. So, uh, what do you guys think? Should I uh, wear these for my 30th birthday celebration? Pretty sure I'm gonna be making my own pair of ears, but I do think that these are a definite fun conversation piece. Again, they'll just look really nice in our Disney collection. So then on top of that stuff, we got two different books. The first one is The Art of Racing in the Rain. This movie is the first movie that Disney is doing since they acquired Fox Films. So this comes out in August and the reason we received this is because we got to go to a private screening of this film and I can't really talk about it or say anything but it is so good. Go see it and uh, bring a lot of tissues because yeah it's it's a sad one. And then the second book that we received is Ashley Eckstein's biography or I guess more accurately autobiography and that is because she was our keynote speaker at the conference so it was really awesome getting to meet her. She does voice acting for Star Wars. She is also the creator of the Her universe collection that you can buy at like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Torrid, all of that. So uh, yeah, I am really excited to kind of read this. It's about her like struggle and her success and getting her business started. So definitely some inspirational stuff in here for sure. And then the last couple of items I feel like are definitely like conferency type events. The main sponsor of this one is actually Run Disney, so we got a fun little pair of Run Disney socks, which, uh, fun fact, I did just sign up for my first ever Run Disney event, so I will be running next February for the Princess Weekend, so uh, yeah, I felt like that was really fitting, and I am super excited to join the Run Disney family. Let me know like any and all of your advice, if you've done it, what you love about it, and if you're attending, because I would love to meet up. So then the last couple of items that we got, again, very practical for like conferences and working. We have this little Disney Parks power bank for charging your cell phone on the go, and this Walt Disney World giant stainless steel tumbler. I have honestly been using stuff like this Every time we go to the parks, we basically put ice cold water in it so that we can keep it in the car so that by the time we get back to the car when we're super thirsty and dehydrated, we still have water that's not just like 100 degrees from sitting in the car. So uh, yeah, really excited to have this again, really practical. Uh, always love getting swag from Disney. And like I mentioned, all of that was kind of inside this uh, backpack, which is the Mickey Celebration Drawstring Backpack. So super cute, definitely love getting to go to Disney events. Yeah, just figured I would share those extra little goodies with you because people always want to know what free swag we get from Disney. All right, so uh, that is it. I'm sure there's probably a couple of items floating around the apartment that did not make this haul that I did buy from the last time I did a haul, but uh, I feel like that was already a lot, so thank you for those of you who have watched this entire video. Let me know what item is your favorite, if we are twins on anything, and all of that good stuff. I will see you guys again next week for an all new video, and yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and give this a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls. Like I said, I do have a whole separate haul coming that is just stuff from Japan, so uh, yeah, get ready for that. Alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye!